We're rolling. Rolling. Whoa. We're so Christmassy. <laughs> green, green, red, red, dark, right. Long, short. <laughs> Tall, short. <laughs> so we're Canadian together. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> that was so good. Can you just stay here for all of my videos? We are here today with Adeline. Hi. Adeline Warren on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And we are doing a collab today. Mm -hmm. If you could. I think it's collab. like our third collab. Yeah. That's a lot of collabs. Watch last year's <laughs> as well because we were super festive. Can yeah. you tell which of the shirts was worn last year? But we're here today on my channel and we're going to be testing out some DIY gift ideas. So we're gonna do two different bath bombs. We're gonna test which one's better. And we're gonna do two different sort of marbleizing techniques that you can do with different products like mugs and things like that. And we'll see which one looks better. Cause we're gonna find out so you guys don't waste your time. We waste our own time so we don't waste yours. So let's start with the bath bombs. So the main difference between these two bath bombs is one uses citric acid and one does not because apparently citric acid is like, it's like a foaming agent, but it's not like super good for your skin. It's kind of drying. So I was like, if I can make both of them get all fizzy and stuff and be awesome, then like- Then use one instead of the other. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see what one's better. Take it away, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> so here are the things that you guys will need. Two cups of baking soda, one <laughs> cup of cream of tartar, six tablespoons of Epsom salt, and then a mixing bowl and a large spoon. And then you need some form of essential oils. We have like little mixes. So yeah. there's like ones that are like relaxation, stress relief, like it's supposed to make you like, I don't know if you're stressed, but. Sunshine. Mm -hmm. No, you're not. Coconut or olive oil. Spray bottle filled with water. And then you need some sort of mold to put the bath bombs in. So we use muffin tins. What you're gonna do is you're gonna combine together all of the dry ingredients first. So you're gonna measure them all out, put them all together, mix them up really good. You need a really good mix. And then for this particular recipe, they said to just sort of add in some of the olive oil like a little bit at a time until you make this mixture so that when you crush it together, it like keeps it together and it doesn't crumble. And then that's why this spray bottle filled with water is there because then you just spritz a couple of sprays into it to like get it to like adhese. That's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> and then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna like put it together and put it into whatever mold you want. You can do like a silicone mold, like a fancy one. I didn't have any of those. Or like you know those ones that are like circle? Yeah. yeah. You can do it by hand if you want. Like if you're really good at it, Whoa, you can make like a yeah, little, yeah. little ball. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I'm not that good. So <laughs> we went with nothing. <laughs> and I also um, decided to dye each of them a little bit just to make sure I could tell the difference between them. So this particular recipe is blue. Make it fancy. Make it look pretty. You know? Let me make it look cute. So cute. Oh, I should have put <laughs> glitter in there. <laughs> that would have been so cool. Oh my gosh, that would have been amazing. When you put it in the bath, then you'll be all glittery. But I feel like I wouldn't complain about that. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, is that a bad thing? <laughs> and that's all there is to that one. So we're gonna be testing these both in water to see what they look like. So that one is now done. Now on to bath bomb number two. So you're going to need baking soda, citric acid, cornstarch, as well as either olive oil, liquid coconut oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil. They had a variety. I went with olive because <laughs> that's that's what I had on hand in my kitchen. And then again, some form of essential oil. We decided to go with like a different one just to kind of test them both out, see which one smelled better. And then again, the mold. So we again put it into the muffin tins. And this one I dyed sort of like a pink tone because I used olive oil and I used more in this particular recipe than in the last one. Um, it turns out almost like yellow. So we put like one drop of the red in to kind of make it, you know, less yellow. Like pea bomb. Oh. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the things that you're gonna wanna do is get all the dry ingredients and put them all together and then you're gonna get the wet ingredients, like the oils and stuff like that, and you put them all together and then you mix all of them up. <laughs> and then all you gotta do is pat it into the muffin tins and then... You got it. You got it. Bath bombs. Done. And it's like a nice way of giving someone like a nice relaxation element. Do like a whole spa kit, you know? Cute. I would be so down to that get one of those. That would be cute. You know? And I feel like when you make it, it's so much more thoughtful and like people enjoy it more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and everything was from Bulk Barn for the most part, except for these. We got these off of Amazon. So now we have our water here and we are going to each take one of these different bath bombs. We're going to see It'll how- It'll be your lush helpers. You know? Lush baristas, lush- Worker. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's start. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do the blue one. Yeah. You're gonna do the pink one? Okay, yeah. try and get it out and like see if it actually like holds together. No, <laughs> mine's shriveling into pieces. Okay, there you go, guys. Push him back. You can do it. Push him back. You can do it. Keep it together. You got this. 
believe in yourself. So far, my blue one is winning because it's like all together and, and keeping it. But you could call this one cookie crumble. Are you Honest. putting it in? Yep. One, okay, two, two, three. three. Whoa! Yours is fizzing a lot more than mine is. <laughs> like Rice Krispies. Oh my oh, god. Oh, mine's a little bit, but not like a ton. But it seems like everything dissolved, which is good. It smells like, like an intense essential oil session right now, though. They were both pretty successful. I would say mm. mine held together a little bit more yeah. than yours did, but yours fizzed a lot yeah. more than mine did. Yeah. So it depends on like what's important to you. I feel like it'd be easier to wrap that. It would be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Unless you like hand formed them or whatever, mm -hmm. yeah. and then put them like as like a ball. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like an ornament? That'd be so cute. Like, you know those ornaments that open up and then you can give them, yes. so, like, as an ornament? That's how you can wrap it. That's how you wrap it. <laughs> that's exactly how you wrap it. Don't listen to, don't do the muffin toast, do that. <laughs> so there you go. Experiment completed. I feel like a scientist. <laughs> now on to the next experiment. Number two. So for DIY number two, we are going to be testing out different ways to create sort of a marble effect on different things like, for example, white mugs, or these are white tiles, which you could turn into coasters, or you can make them into like little like wall art things, like a wall thing That'd for, be cool. the, for, the, for the wall. And so the two different methods we're gonna be trying out, one is with nail polish, because I saw this on Pinterest, I'm like, I'm obsessed. You take a couple of different nail polish colors, you drop them into some water, and then you dip like a mug or a coaster or whatever into it to get the design that you want. And then the other one we wanted to test out is using Sharpies and you kind of like create whatever design you want and then you use some of this isopropyl alcohol, like so. And then you just dropper it on top to get the same sort of like marbled effect. So we're gonna see like which one looks better oh. or like if there's like techniques and things. I even got like a metallic one because like, I don't know, that could be cool. Hey -oh, that could be cool. <laughs> Adeline's gonna test out the nail polish thing first and I'm gonna test out Sharpies and then we're gonna swap. The only thing that they said was to use the lightest color first and then gradually build to like the darkest color and then you can swirl them. They work like fast apparently. Fast? Oh my gosh, this is so strange. I know, I'm like, I wanna watch you. I feel like I should be helping you. Should I be doing something? Oh, what can I do? Can I open them? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, now I guess you dip. Okay, I feel like I made it really big. Try the cup. Okay. Okay. And then you the just big, like sort of like on the, the side. The big reveal. On the side, yeah. Like this? Yep. <laughs> Whoa, that's intense. It's very clumpy on the one side. It is. That's interesting. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, maybe you can dip it with that though. Oh! What happened? It went a little bit inside the cup. <laughs> That's okay. We can clean that. That's easy. Ooh, I like that side. That looks yeah. really good. Okay, now you get to do another one. <laughs> well, I'm still, still working on my one tile. I think I'm gonna use less colors. Can you guys see this? This is what it looks like. I'm gonna take... Ooh. Did it work? Kind of. Ooh! Kind of worked. Now you can join me in my party over here. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put on, but... I see it, I see it moving around. It's doing some things. It's doing something. I want to see what it would look like if I started like dabbing it. That's what mine looks like now. <laughs> Aww. It's still not as cool as the people who did it online. Though I do like the silver, that Yeah, I like cool. the silver. But it's like a lot more chunky than everyone else's. If, we, if we're gonna give any sort of advice, start with just a less, little bit. Less is more. I personally like the nail polish one better than the Sharpie one. Yeah, but like, like a little fail. But I think the nail polish one is probably my fave if I use less nail polish. Because otherwise it just like clumps up. But like the colors are cool. The colors and like the mixy mix, like that looks cool. And that's everything for this video. That's everything! Yay, we did it! Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and enjoyed it and want to see more videos with this beautiful lady. Cause she's a And don't forget to check out her video. I will put a link in the info bar. I'll put it in the cards. You need to check it out. It's gonna be really good. More, more Christmas stuff. It'll be everywhere. <laughs> I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everyone! Bye! Mwah! And your lashes are on this. <gasps> I did my lashes for you. I did my lashes oh. for you. <laughs> I was sitting there and I was like, do we do lashes today? Adeline's doing lashes today. I need to do lashes. <laughs>